uh, let's hope that I have both these damn cameras right. rolling. <laughs> Um, Do you want to pause and walk on the show? No, 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 no. I just like to come right into yeah, it, my friend. I like to uh, come right into it. You know, Rich, you, have, uh, you and I have uh, known each other for a long time. We have known each other since college, even though we split ways for a, a long time. Many years. Many years. Um, and uh, so, so to my, to my, to my uh, fans... No, I'm not going to Three say. of them? <laughs> All three of y'all out there... <laughs> I love it. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Rich Ledke, uh, my friend from college. We cheered together at Georgia Southern back in 95. Hey, careful. Yeah, now, we're old. We so leave the years off. I mean, it is what it is. I don't really I admit to how old I am at this point. There's no point in trying to hide it. I'm an old man and I have gray in my beard. And yeah, just, let's look. <laughs> <laughs> I have done. Um, yeah, no, I... I uh, the gray is, I, I thought I was going to color it, but now I'm just going to let it, I think you let it ride, I, the salt good. and pepper. I've changed my glasses from gray glasses. I think that that uh, no. has helped a little bit. I think that the gray really kind of blended me all together, and uh, it wasn't a good look after after time, the black or the darker. I'm going for Mr. Clean, so. Right, well, got you got to do what you got to do. Nailed it. I mean, do you shave it? Yeah. You don't do a, a clipper? No. Every two or three days, he's going to shave. I, I couldn't. My dad does the shaving, too, because he goes bald. Um, and uh, I, I have friends that do that, too. And I, I don't know if I would want to. I could clipper it to, down to the, you know, like a one guard. I'm sure. But uh, I it, it's, I it took me a while. I did one guard for 10 years. But then I realized it wasn't coming back. It's either going to be gray or gone. So right. mine's gone. So, hey. So that's what you decide to do it yeah. that way. Don't distract from this pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the last time we talked, I, I, I had talked about me cutting my hair for the first time by my, not for the first time, first time during the quarantine sure. by myself. And uh, it was, what was that? Was that him? That's my assistant. Oh, I didn't realize. Everybody, this is Bash. Yeah, Bash. Bash. Sir Bashington. I didn't really. I guess he, he doesn't make noises there. yet. <laughs> he just looks at the trees. Uh, but I, I got my. Um, I thought I did. I finally I went back and saw was able to see my barber today for the first time uh, since my birthday, March seventh, wow. like that, or like right about, right around that time, it was the beginning of March, right before leaving for UCA. The last time I got a, a barber's haircut. See, I don't have to worry about that. I know. Well, I didn't have to worry about it for a long time <clears> either. But uh, you know, I think I, I look better with hair. My barber is always open on time. All right. On time. <laughs> my guy's always on time. Yeah, he's he, and he's good. He's got a killer fade. He can he can kill it. He he made fun of me today, though he did say thank you for not touching the top of it. Yeah. So that well made me, yeah he was uh, he was good with that. Um, uh, wearing a mask. I mean, it was the whole nine yards. It was. It's a new time. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's yeah, a new I, weird. Hair was sure. all in my mask. Uh, it's hot. I'm sure it seems on your glasses. It's it does. The breathing does. I couldn't imagine. I like well, you is, well, you're wearing, not wearing glasses. So. I don't wear glasses, but I wear one for work all day long. A mask. Are you not wearing any glasses though? No. Any kind of. And just the mask itself is enough. I couldn't imagine with glasses. Well, it steams it up. Uh, nope. Sometimes you know here and yeah. there. Yeah. Not all the time, but uh, yeah, that gets annoying. Um, I, I'm, but I'm going to keep continue to wear the dang thing. Yeah. I mean, not, I think at this point you kind of almost need to just to be safe, maybe. I'm not going to. Look, I, I'm excited about us going for it. <laughs> that is the way to say it. Sure. But I'm, not, I'm going to still remain um, smart. Smart. Yeah. There's. What do you get from not wearing it? Could be bad. What do you of get course. from wearing it? Could, Could be bad. Peace of mind. Yeah. One. Peace and, mind. And, and, and it's better than not wearing it. Well, you, and you don't know how you pass. <laughs> so. It's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, quarantine. It's, it's a crazy time. It's uh, a lot longer than I think anybody expected. Expected, and, of uh, course, but I, I think we're learning to cope, cope with it in a new way, which is cool. Yeah, I, I know that um, things are starting to come back, and this sport that we're associated with, I hope, will follow the lead of. Uh, we're going to follow all these all these other sports 
sure. people and what they're doing and they're trying right now. So, um, I just think the large group. I mean, obviously we had to, you know, do a, cancel the season, postpone it for a while, and cancel it. But uh, I feel like now that we're kind of moved on to the next season, right? Um, that's obviously the best scenario for everybody. I know that wasn't good for last season. That's a tough way to end the season, but um, I think it was smart to kind of move on. Yeah. Now we can get back to the gym setting, get back to small group training, and get back to starting the season over. And that's going to be the same as thing for now. Right. You know, and then let's just cross our fingers for next season that things right. get back to what we know is normal. Well, speaking of that, doing what you do <clears throat> for a living, I mean, you, you have your hands in, in all different aspects of cheerleading at this point. I mean, you, you do... Uh, uh, choreography and, and stunt building and camp skill, start, stuff. skill yeah. stuff during the summer. You work at, at uh, Woodward during the summer. You during the competition season. You work uh, the music boards and the light boards. Is that am I saying that yeah. right? Uh, it's production. Uh, production. Yeah. Uh, so you, you during the year you have different things that you do. Right. And right now all of them are up in the air. They're I, all I'm, I'm sure that your summer business has. Uh, tell me what is going on with. As much as you... Sure. Um, you know, so this all came about mid-March. We were in the middle of event season, so I was a production guy, announcer, DJ, you know, lighting, sound, all that fun stuff. Um, events took a hold. They rescheduled them for later, and then we thought they were going to maybe potentially come back. Obviously, they got canceled due to all this, um, so, the, you know, half the season was gone. Uh, right now is normally trout season and getting ready for all that. Uh, you know, normally we'd have Worlds and D1 and D2 Summit. Um, and now we get back into skills camps. So it would be, um, right now was, yesterday was my, supposed to be my first day in Australia, uh, which obviously was canceled. Um, <clears throat> was Sorry, very, like, yeah. Uh, you know, I was going to be over there for a couple of weeks working with the gym in Brisbane, right. uh, great friends and great people, but uh, unfortunately we couldn't do it. And then I would normally start skills camps here in the States, June 1st. And uh, June, July, August, most of September, would be doing that with different gyms. And right now it's, we know June is pretty much a moving later. We're, we're hoping July can get back to normal, but that still is a wishful thinking. Um, you know, so we're, I'm, I'm hoping for my personal self is, uh, that July moves later and everybody just moves later and maybe my season goes July, August, September, even October if it needs to, to get to work with the, the customers I normally have and the things right. I normally can accomplish just at a later date. Yeah. And so right now I'm um, technically unemployed, which is a scary thought. Of course. For the right. first time since um, right. George Southern, 95, 96. <laughs> is that the last time? Yeah. Uh, which is scary to think that I don't have control over it. Yeah. I've been, um, you know, worked with gyms and worked as a gym, have owned gyms, have worked for some very known gyms as well. You know, I get to travel and, and do some fun stuff, but um, to not have control is the craziest part right now. Yeah. You know, everyone loves a vacation. They can all but, last so long. <laughs> but vacation has an end point, and yeah. then you come back to normal. The fact that you don't have to come back to normal point is scary. Yeah. You know, this has been middle of March. This is middle of April. You're talking May, June, potentially July, for three more months. It's scary to think that work is non-existent. It's not there, right. So uh, when this whole thing started, I mean, I'm a pretty um, go-get-it-done kind of person. The week after this whole thing took place, I got a job at a grocery store. Instead of being reactive, I was proactive right, and right. said, what's well, not going to close? Grocery right. stores. Okay, great. Yeah. So I'm part-time frontlining it, you know, right. the grocery store guy. Well, you're essential. Um, <laughs> I'm essential. Um, but it's rewarding work. Right. It's been great. The community's been great. Um, it's a grocery store and, you know, close to my mom's house. And uh, it's been, been awesome, but it's just not normal, you know, so... Um, but as far as the cheer world goes, you know, it's, everything's on hold. Yeah. I mean, I, the way I thought about it earlier today when I, when I was thinking about you is that, uh, and, and all the other choreographers yes. in this business and, and the people that do that for their living at certain times of the year, you know, you, you, you do your certain things in the summer, you do certain things during the, during the season right. or during the actual competing season. But, um, you know, I, all these teams are going to need routines. All these teams are going to need those sure. same things. I, I, you would hope that uh, it just gets pushed back a little bit. That's the only thing. Well, that's the hope right now. But unfortunately, yeah. by state, 
you know, I work with, I'm lucky enough to right. work with teams in many different states, and some of the northern states look like they're not even going back to school in the fall. And then here we are sitting in Georgia that's trying to get back to normal. Right. You know, so it's, um, it's crazy to be part of the, the change. You know what I mean? Like some states are doing it, some states are not. Some states are getting back to, you know, trying to get back to, you know, phase one, two, three. Some are still completely shut down. Yeah. You know, so it's crazy to see that. Obviously, it's based on how this thing has affected that area. But um, it's crazy to see how it's affecting gyms yeah, and no. all these athletes. I mean, it's it, at the end of the day, it's about the kids and what this means to them. This is why we all got in it. Yeah. That's why we got in it that as is. athletes. Right. We enjoyed it. It yeah. locked us in. And here we are 25 years later. Mm-hmm. 20, so speak for yourself. I'm still 25, so it's perfect. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you started yeah. when you're <laughs> when you're born. <laughs> yeah, I know that California. They announced that they're at least until I think that that uh, they said through August. Yeah, they're, they're and they already have canceled um, <clears throat> classes Every, in the fall everywhere. at all of yeah. California state colleges or whatever you know. You, University of California things and uh, you know talking about how that's gonna you know the football situation that's a whole other oh my gosh the fact like that football college football may not happen yeah that's what in they the say. southeast that's a scary I, you know what though but here's the deal I don't believe that I <laughs> believe so, that that will it will happen but it all based on is based on school if the kids can't if there's the gonna athletes be a, can't get back before school to train yeah and be conditioned and be safe let's be honest it's Part of the res- right. reason why the cheer season ended the right. way it did, because if if kids aren't training the way they did, it's not safe for them to compete. Right. Cheerleading, football, whatever Cheer- it is. All the same. So if football athletes can't get back to school to train and do the things they need to to get ready, they're not going to host football games. You know, so um, it's a scary thought to think that some of that may not take place to all us. So. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that, speaking of, of, of what the, like, you know the NCAA and what they're going to do with, with with the football. Uh, I think that there may be a a, a boycott. Let's hope. Uh, from yeah, and finally, so there's going to be a break with, from the NCAA, and this is I think that if anything's ever going to break that, this is, this, this will do <laughs> it's it. Comfortable. Yeah, this will. Yeah, this will do it. Um, but yeah, you so. All your jobs have been just pushed back. Is that what you're telling me? That um, yeah, I mean everything right now is on hold. Is on hold. Uh, to be honest with you, I have no no answers. I mean, I have a couple clients that are like, yes, we're doing these dates, but yet they still haven't been clear for those dates. So it's like, yes, they're planning, right? But as far as working, I couldn't tell you the next time I'm going to be on the road doing that. Yeah, you know, and that's like I said, usually it's end of May, early June, where I start doing those things. At right when trials are happening, and um, the fact that I. My, my June calendar is technically empty with some wishful thinking dates on them. Right. June. When, when is, when is uh, the times that you normally do Woodward? Uh, I usually do that later July or August. Is that, so, is that have they canceled all the camps or are they uh, set up? They uh, have canceled the first, tentativeness right well, they've, set, they've canceled the first few weeks, taking those athletes and trying to move them in the later weeks. Okay. So they still, I'm not the sure, have been clay, uh, cleared for the later dates, but that's the you got to kind of move them in phases. Uh, right now, the later, I want to say half or more of the summer is go, is on. Okay. And so they're going to just make those weeks bigger and find a way to accommodate and, and make sure those athletes get the experience they deserve. And um, like I said, I was lucky this year to be scheduled later in the summer. Right. Some summers I might be earlier. The last few years I've been a little bit later in the summer just due to some of the clients I have in the area. Um, but I'm, I'm up there week nine this year, which is middle of August, some, maybe early August, somewhere there. So we're right. hoping that they get cleared and whatever. But being in that's Pennsylvania... That's Pennsylvania that you got to go on. That's what's going to happen that's, there. Yeah. You know, that's a, they're still in lockdown. Right. So it's, it's a little slower in the opening of the process. So we're hoping that they, that all lifts and you know does the things. But, uh, you know, Woodward's been part of my... I won't miss that week or two whenever I get to work ever. Uh, it's, it's a special place that... Um, it's a crazy, unique connection that you have with those kids in that, in that environment. Right. And it's obviously one of the best environments you can have in the cheer, tumbling camp world, you know, so um, let's just that. hope, let's just hope it happens because 
there's gonna be a little hole of hole of me that's right. not oh well and, and for a lot of people too i mean i yeah. see what i see what goes on up there and i see what you know the kids that we have that come through our gym um you know the, not what they come not saying they come back with any i'm not even saying it like that but I know that the experience that they have at, at that place is. I've actually place. worked with a couple of gyms out here, athletes. Yeah, or athletes at your gym. Yeah, they they they, uh, they seem like they have a great time, and that's that's what camps for. Well, well let's be honest, else. it's it's a summer camp. Right. That happen to have tumbling for right, the you know. So uh, it's a summer camp overall, and that's you know I think in today's age, that connection of doing things and and kind of getting out of your comfort zone has been lost. You know, with the instant society of phones and all the social medias mm -hmm. camp putting that phone down and going to do things is do, do they re, do, do they have to leave their phone in their, uh, in their uh, bunks or whatever no, they, 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 they take it with them but it's you know during yeah. training times doing during stuff you know it's for focus which is great you wonder yeah I, I, I wondered that if they had to just carry you know, I would love I mean listen all the time teams I've trained with I'm saying put your phone up you don't need no water breaks no. you can you can sacrifice two hours of your time to focus I remember I remember I used to have the, the worst issue with these kids uh, when I coached at Icon and I remember I had to uh, nothing wrong with the kids just saying the, the phone just, things and the breaks focus. that I had to I remember this one time on the on the uh, I took a picture on the the railing and I labeled it phone parking lot. Yep. And and phone jail to the box. Two, 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 yep. Just lined up. All right. They have to sit right here. This is you yeah, know. It's two hours, maybe four hours a week, something of the sort. Yeah. Like focus. So it's it's uh it's a crazy society. We all do it. I mean we all check it. Every few minutes every day. You know, it's crazy. I know I, I, my eyes, I, even though I my I it's, the, blue, the blue You're right. well, that's fair. <laughs> The, the, I don't know what's it called, the blue uh, blue light. I have sure. it on the blue light filter on my glasses, and at the end of the day, I can tell. I'm like, I, well, I think that I think that's probably I watch too much TV at night, but but that's the culmination of too much phone. Sure. Before that, uh, computer time, TV uh, time, computer all time, that. Time, yeah. Oh. I uh, yeah, that's. I wish it. I, I wish I didn't have that pain at the end of the day <laughs> with my eyes. Uh, I wonder if LASIK would ever help that. I don't think it would. Whole people no. problems. Well, <laughs> don't don't make me. You're old too, my friend. Yeah, but then luckily don't have those problems. When did you graduate high school? Ninety five. Ninety five. I'm nineteen ninety. I'm nineteen ninety. I'll say it proud. And I like to want to say nineteen eighty nine because I I don't. I want to say that because that puts me in the right era. Yeah. Not when you when I say nineteen ninety, it puts me in a whole different decade. And I'm not a nine. I mean, I am. That's my college years. Sure. Everything else was yeah. Eighties. Uh, I was proud to graduate ninety six when the Olympics were here in Atlanta. Okay, uh, that was. was oh, that's right. It was ninety six. That was a, a fun year. Yeah, I know. Did you have anything to do with the Olympics? We did like a performance team. Were you on the the Atlanta team? Yeah. For a little bit, we uh, we were a sponsored team. We did right. just performance stuff. Yeah. We didn't do anything with the actual you didn't do the ceremony. 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 I know. No, the company I worked for was supposed to, and then you know, of course, sponsorships right now. Blah, 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 you know, I was but, supposed to as well, and we got left off of it. I was yeah. supposed to do that one team with Sam and Les, and and I think oh, I think Clint, Les, I think that? I think Clint did it. There was quite maybe a few Justin did it. That drove from Georgia Southern. I can't remember Texas. all that yeah. did it, but. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to do that. I wish now, looking back, I would have done it. Taking yeah. the time, the money, whatever it was. I don't remember if it was to because I had to go to summer school that I didn't get to do it or that I got left off of it. I can't remember. It was the it was a United team, I think is what that was, if I remember right, that, that they had put it together. But, man, I mean, I would have loved to. Like I said, that's a memory that we should have been involved with that I wish we would have. Too many people that are too close to me got to do it that I didn't, and for me not that's, to get to do it, that yeah. makes me... Because that could have been, you know, another uniform up on the wall. Well, they're going to be in here. I mean, that's, I, I don't know if you, you, I'm getting stuff starting to get framed up and, uh, you know, things that, the uniforms that I've had through the years that I have had in protective boxes. And, nice. Uh, yeah. I'm, the decorations of this studio will... It's great. It's, it's a great getting place. There. It's getting there. I like it. Uh... People like it, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, uh, 
it's all little things that are important to me, I guess you could say. Yeah, I wish I kept my megaphone. Do you I'm not have that? that? I'm a little jealous of you that. You don't have that megaphone? No. I wish I had one from Georgia College. I'm not sure so. where I would put it, but yeah, I wish I had one. I wonder how I, I don't know how I have that. I don't think I stole it from Wendell, but oh, <laughs> that's not Wendell. It's not Wendell. Yeah, uh, but I, <clears throat> I don't know if, I don't have any uniforms, but I have that. I may have a Georgia Southern uniform. I know I have my I I wish Miami, I did. Miami Dade back right. you know, after that, but right. I know I have my Dade uniform, but I'm not sure I have Georgia Southern. I can't remember. I wish I had one. All right, that would be nice. I, yeah, I'm putting it, I'm putting together in a lot my old Jim's uniforms that I have for and uh, a couple of uh, uniforms that I designed after that uh, just for my yeah. own for my own it's ego. Uh, and it's great. Uh, my high school letter jackets and all that Lord. stuff. Memory lane right there, man. Getting, uh, yeah, oh, NCA jackets framed up that were framed up and have the shadow boxes deteriorated over time and getting, so getting those redone with some new jackets put into it. Uh, so that'll be, cool. yeah, that's how I like to remember things. Cool. They've been hanging in the closets, now it's time to. Yeah, after the get first few, I was. That's well, yeah, that's that's. I had the first one got done, and then they yeah. there's others afterwards. But I have there. What what I'm going to do is because they're different through the different times that they've changed. Sure. So I'll have a little bit of a. Remember Lane. Yeah, like this it. kind, and then they change <laughs> to this kind, and then they change to this kind. So. Um, oof. Yeah. A- NCA. That was my favorite. That was like many years of my life. You know, I was did the instructor thing. Was curriculum guy. I worked in the office. That will always be my favorite. Did you live in Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five, six years, somewhere there. Do you know uh, Jervis? Of course. Okay. Oh, Jervis. Yes, yeah, worked at Singer's with you. Yeah, he yeah. did. And then he moved to the office. He came back and then he moved yeah. back, yeah. I know he's he's enjoying his time in Dallas. At least it seems like he is. Yeah, he's great. He's great at what he does. I guess he, do, I guess he does more than what he used to do for NCA, so that's what makes him... I don't know what he did before. I don't remember. The fir- before he worked <clears throat> at Stingray's the first time, but... Uh, you know, going back, sure. what he's doing now, running these okay. camps that may not happen. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the that's the that's, that's another, the other that's thing. part of it. Yeah, let's well, let me turn these cameras and we're going to get back right. into, into that. There we go. That's all. Oh, that's all. There's no. You don't see it anyway. All right, we're back. Oh. Yeah. Now, so. <clears throat> Do you know what, I mean, are all summer camps for these companies canceled for the summer? Is that well, what the I plan is? I mean, I didn't I even think about that until, even though I used to do that, I right. totally forgot about. I don't know for sure. Uh, I've talked to a couple of friends that work in the office, and they, you know, they, I'm under the assumption, again, this is all speculation, that June is pretty much not going to happen. I think they're planning for July to happen, wishful thinking, obviously, and then Again, depending on the states and how they're released and allowed, right. and maybe size limitations, maybe you know have to work in shifts where certain amounts are in the room at certain times, and uh, all the all expected things that you crazy. think is going to go on with all that stuff. Yeah, I I know that it'll just depend on where the camp is, and yeah, but it, you know to think of the numbers of people that affects throughout the summer, staff wise and kids. Of course, it's all high schools. You that's know, what are they going to have trials? Are they going to have teams? You know, yeah. so it's, 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 again, it's, some people see this as a, such a big deal and some don't. I think it, once you really step back and look at yeah. the effect it has, it's, it is a big deal in our, in our industry and, and I am worried about how it will affect all of us going forward yeah, and, sure. and, and, and whether the, whether, <clears throat> whether the, the issue will, uh, I don't, you know, thinking, we're all thinking crazy thoughts right now, right? Like thinking, yeah, I mean, like what brain right, is the worst thing from this? All right, like you can come up with crazy scenarios. Does the business this year change to all small teams because? Uh, let's see, that's why. I, uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, is it? Is it all? Does it? Do all the teams like because you can only have so many people in a room at a time and right. that kind of thing? Does all the? Does the super large teams become just small teams this year? Is it all kind of a twenty? Do you have to a uh, half a practice at a time? Like, like, you so wonder, many, like, like where, how could it go? Like, if yeah, you had you to think crazy out of the box, right? Do you have half half the floor on the floor one time? <laughs> no, you can't. So you wonder if that's because of those rules. If the teams will have to 
once they these people put these teams I feel together. like Summers, and this is, uh, again, personal opinion, I feel like Summers going to be skill-based, so you can kind of figure that out. Yeah. Um, as far as choreography goes, let's hope that all this is lifted by then, so you don't have to deal with it. So that's the I have, cross the I have and, faith that it will be. I hope that people are smart and are, are not... Overboard. Yeah, you, you can't just be, you can't be crazy, man. You gotta yep. just be aware and be well, smart. It's, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened in our time and, you know, we have to react to it. And I feel like there's a positive way to get through this. I feel like gyms are doing a good job with, you know, keeping athletes active and working out and doing the thing, even though right. it's on video, Zoom or whatever they're using. But uh, I hope they're not crazy when it comes out. Uh, you know, when they get released, be smart. Yeah. Ease in things. You know, don't push athletes too fast. Keep yeah. them safe. You know, I mean, all that stuff. But let's hope that the summer is at least that time we need to get back into what we call normal. Yeah, I know that they're running classes up at the gym right now and, you know, keeping lanes in between each yeah. person open and, uh, yeah, but there's there's ways to do it. There, I mean, they're, they're, yeah. You have to get creative and you have to be smart. You know, kids come in one door and stretch in a certain that's area, what, and then they move, doing, right. and then they exit a different door. I mean, you can you can find ways to be creative, and you know, I mean, video stuff has been great too. For two yeah. months, I've been video practicing and private lessons, right. and I've been on more Zoom calls than I want to admit. You know, I've been on. A, a, lucky for me, I've been on one. But I, and that, I say, it's, it's sad to say that I almost would say that's sad to say that. That, no, but, but, but that's I've had to, I've been on one and it, and it was it was a cheerleading one yeah. for, with just uh, with old, with some old older Georgia Southern folks. I know and you, I got, you, got, you got left out of that one. Sorry. Ouch. Yeah, you're you're part of that. Young, you're part of that younger crew. Oh, that's crap. Uh, but I, I was just invited in, so I didn't make it. If I had made it, yeah, I would. <laughs> But like I've done, you know, social ones, social ones with friends, yeah. um, workouts with whole teams. Right. I've done parent workouts. I've done private lessons. I mean, I know people are doing photography through through yeah. through it. I'm like, well, but, that's pretty cool I, too. But it's again, it's 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 something new. Right. Again, like we said earlier, you're forced to do it. Right. You might as well right. just be creative. Hey, you're gonna. That's to me is the difference between you know. There's going to be two groups of people right now. There's going to be people people that. Didn't do anything to change, better themselves, find a different way, what, whatever you want to call it, uh, and the people that did. And I'm, I'm trying to be my, the person in the group that did. Oh, gotcha. Well, I, I think I think so. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll see where it goes. I'm not I, I, I'm hoping for the. You know, I'm gonna reach for the stars and <laughs> what does it say? Reach for the stars and maybe you grab one of the moon or something. Or something like that. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, Man, you know, I would love for that to happen, but that's not, that's not, you know, to me, it was just something, uh, this is for something to do for fun because I was, you know, well, stuck it's, your in, new, it's your new, it's going to be my new thing. Yeah. And that's, that's cool. So, uh, you know, my, my, my thing wasn't, I didn't, I didn't figure out how to become a, a zoom photographer over this quarantine that's though. Tough. Some people have done that. And I tell you what, I applaud them because I found some. I've seen some really cool stuff that some people have done. Some of the photographers that I follow, and they've done it over you know, FaceTime or whatever they're doing it on. And I'm like, wow, yeah, impressive. Though, I, I, but I did this, you know, yeah, which is impressive. Well, I figured out that it's just because I'm lonely and I want friends to come over. To the should house. we be sitting at the long end of the table? Though? I feel like that I probably should be doing that Three and for, and half, for the uh, for feet? the social distancing. I did think about turning it, <laughs> but I'm like, huh. you can't see each other. Well, it just won't fit in the room right at that point the way I want it to. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, but I did, I did consider it. I thought that would be the like. I feel like I, I, I feel safe. I feel good. Yeah. No, I though, I, though, <laughs> uh, though, I know that the at this point the spread of it is from asymptomatic people. It ain't for people who are sick. True. That's that you know, and that's the thing that I worry about, is that, I, you know, I've been seeing my parents and we've been hanging out and Dad's not worried though he is, but he's not worried about hanging out. I'm like, let's still kind of keep it. Yeah, I love you. Again, it's okay to keep your space. Yeah, 
You're well, not losing anything by keeping space. But that's the thing that worries me is when people don't. That they think, oh, we're cool. Like, get get no, back from me, I, man. I appreciate you. I don't need a hug right now. No. Well, Wendy and I talked about that she's sad that she can't hug people. Oh, and listen, I, I love them. Listen, when I don't have seen somebody for a long time, it, it's well, but that time will come. Right. Have you been Have you been seeing people that you, from around, or you've been keeping hunker down? I mean, uh, well, I, I know you you went out and saw some friends in Tennessee, or a friend in Tennessee, a few yeah. weeks ago, or whatever. Uh, I, I've seen I have seen people, but have also been hunkered down. So it's um, yeah, you know, most of my friends that are you know my closest friends, best friends, are all scattered all over the country. So it's the Zoom and the video chatting and the that's stuff. That's right that's how we're doing. Um, I will see people. Probably the next two weeks, Memorial Day weekend, that kind of thing. Well, are you going? Time. Planning on going somewhere? Yep, I have are a you? I have a small okay. little venue event, that private event that I'm doing over in okay. Alabama. All right, um, paid gig. Uh, ish. It's paid um, ish. Okay, ish. let's uh, hey, see. It's better than uh, not, not paid ish. And then a little little travel time in the uh, trailer, travel trailer. Where are you gonna go? Uh, right now, it's booked in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's in, okay, up to yeah, so uh, we'll do a little whitewater rafting and a little hiking and get outdoors in the mountains. And, and what uh, is this? Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. So. I'm I'm planning on taking off as well. I know. Come on. Now, two weeks ago, like, I'm I not going know. anywhere. And I'm like, I'm uh, talking to my dad. I was so like, I right here. It's two hours. Well, no, I'm going. I'm, let me tell you my, where I'm going. And you're going to be upset. That, that I get invited that, again. You are invited. That's why we're talking about this right at this moment. But this is the invitation. CP. I am going to Yellowstone, the Badlands, Teton Grand uh, National Grand Tetons, Teton, Grand Tetons uh, and Mount Rushmore. Oh, and I'm going you. through Denver oh. to see my buddy Taylor Green, uh, and do it. And we're going to do a we're going to do a podcast with him there because I got to keep up my weekly. I, I feel like so, I need Grand Tetons. I need Yellowstone. So I need Mount Rushmore. Want, I'll be the podcast for all of them. Hey, you want to? We could do four four weeks on the road if you want to do it, because I'm I, I I'm going to take advantage of the gas prices and I'm going to go yeah. and be socially distanced by myself, in what seems to be the most uh, safest part of the country. Yeah, I don't know uh, Right. I mean, when, when it, you know you look at the numbers and cases and stuff, right. so I'm gonna. Uh, I wish I could take you up on that. Yeah. Of course I. I know you can't, but I, that's what my. I'm such a worker. I gotta be at work. Sorry, guys. Keeping keeping people alive. Yeah, I'm lucky. I have savings because I'm as unemployed as that you can be. Yeah. I mean, I you know, my summer uh, my senior summer senior picture business is is kind of nothing right now. Yeah. People, are, I've done some from for some people from 2020 graduates that you know needed them done, but no one's scheduling anything for that's 2021 yet, and they're not going to until at least the fall. Right. They don't want. There's no point. They don't want to do it right now. And I understand. So, uh, and I'm a little jealous of that. Trip. Nobody's getting wedding. Nobody's getting married. Those have been canceled. So I'm yeah, I'm on a board. Three moved. A yeah. DJ wedding and do right. all that fun stuff and help with lighting and production and all that. But yeah. uh, I had three that have been moved. Yeah. So I, there's no. If I could do this on the road, which is that was the plan. That that was the. You set your van up as a studio. I don't think I'm going to do it in the van, but I could. No, do it outside. I got to do it. I want to do it outside. Two stools and a microphone. Correct. But I will travel to it in the van and, uh, you know. I think you need a pro- production assistant. I do need one because that's the problem with the dang cameras the last time. Is I don't know. I think I'm in focus. Am I in focus? I hope I'm in focus. Because awesome. it will it'll be another. It will. I believe after this one that will be, the audio is going to be pretty good. Okay. I hope. Because you have a production guy. Because correct, uh, but there is still nobody behind the camera. Gas price, I can be that camera guy. <laughs> yes. So well, you get dinner tonight, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You get. You get. So you set a standard for the rest of you guys. Oh. Time. I should, I should mute that. There's a. There's a. There's my next guest. That's the funny thing. Oh, so now you're that pig, huh? I guess I am. That's pretty cool that I got interrupted during one interview with my next interview. I'm most professionals meet their phones. I know, it's muted now. Okay. I mean, mine, I think, is powered off. I mean, it's well, I got to keep my... I got, look, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty lame. I don't get many That watch doesn't have a stopwatch on it? Well, it did. It did also, as your phone calls, I got it. Yeah, it does ring it, so I'm good now. 
I think. I hope. Uh, but where was I said? You got me confused there. I said for the small gas price. Oh, well, you get dinner, so you should be happy. But I was trying to get my tea time. Yeah, but well, hey, you can go. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going. Funded is what I was working on. on. I'm shoot. I gotta fund my own right now. We all on our own on the funding at this God, point, man, right? It's crazy. Did you, uh, did you get a, a stimulus check? I have not yet. Are you, are you supposed to get I'm one? Supposed to. Are you rich? Are you not rich enough to get one? I'm not rich enough to get one. I waited and yes. Where is that? Oh, it's out of the way. I moved to the other room. I got my stimulus check. Uh, so for, supposedly it was mailed in the 1st of May, but I have changed addresses, so I feel like it has to be forwarded. So let's hope. Oh, you said that all of them, you think were mailed, the people that got them in a paper form were mailed? No, or not? For some reason. Or I, did you check on yours? I You can go online and check on oh, okay. the status. And then I, I checked know. on like the very end of April, and it mailed out the next day or something. Um, and I have not received it yet, so we'll, we shall see. Yeah. I received mine, and it. Was right. happy? I was happy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it, hey, it's something. Yeah. I mean, we could go on about that and what's going uh, wrong with your money's, oh, how that got, on both sides got crazy and it's, is a mess. I feel bad for, uh, I, mean, I feel bad for everybody. I feel bad for the business, small business owners. I feel bad for the people that are, that are employed by the small businesses. It's just a mess. Yeah. It, the longevity has been the, the toughest thing, so. <sighs> yeah. And Jim's fallen that. Jim's what now? Fall into that. Yeah. Like, they are those people. So, you know, again, yeah. Jim's are keeping, you know, as many employees busy as, as they can and keep paying them as, I wouldn't think the same rates or whatever, but at least keeping something. Yeah, I don't know what. You know? I know people are are still working at the gym and I know that they, you know, well, now they're, they're and, and, but we're, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they, cause I don't work for the gym anymore. I don't know what they were, if they were furloughed or I don't really well, know. What they a were. lot of gyms kept them busy through the, the virtual I believe that classes they stayed employed. and paid them, yes. you know, an hourly rate for the classes, yeah. but wasn't what you would normally make in a gym, but at least something, you know, so, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of friends within the cheer business that were, you know, furloughed on, from the corporate side or just completely laid off on the gym side. And I mean, I know of a dozen gyms that had to close and, you know, so. Really? So there's already been gyms that have fo folded because of this? Yeah. Because they couldn't handle that process at the end of the season. Smaller, smaller gyms or what kind um, of, where, what are we? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you classify as small, but yeah, small. I mean, uh, small enough that, you know, three months off matters. Yeah, that's, I guess, what you I'm know, trying to say. You know, it's, I think every gym matters, too. Let's be really honest. I don't course. care if you have 5,000 kids or like 50 that, yeah. kids. But, um, I just, yeah. I want to say is I haven't heard of anybody that I know of that has folded. That's, gotcha. what, I guess, what I'm trying to well, say. Well, you know, a lot of people are waiting to this point. You know, I mean, obviously, like you said, classes are starting back up, and hopefully tryouts are going to happen soon. And um, I think if most people can get to that phase, then they'll be okay. And yeah. hopefully make it out of it, so... Let's hope. We all depend on it. Uh, you know, everyone that's listening to this one is yeah. around. Is is associated with it in some well, way. Well, say let's. You know, the only thing you do is find a positive way out. Yeah. Like you said be reactive, not proactive. Nope. Be proactive, not reactive. <laughs> yeah. Cut that out. Yeah, that's a cut. Be proactive right now, people. <clears throat> find a way to make it. Find a way to do something. Yeah. I, I believe that people. That have have, uh, have worked hard and, and have kept them kept the the love of of it going. At least, at least I'm talking about the kids and, and that uh, they're raring to go, man. I, I know. Oh my gosh, I, they're I, gotta I, be chomping at the. Bit. I keep thinking that next year at uh, any big competition or worlds or whatever it is that you love to watch, you're gonna see the best stuff we ever had because people have had nothing but time to think about it and figure it out. Oh, yeah. Make stuff up, I you know, like believe that what what Victor's come up with. <laughs> I'll sit it up. It's gonna make their you know, normal like circus act. It's gonna be this, and it's gonna be this. I know Listen, I feel like this. I have a lot of this and this ready too, so I can't wait. Favorite. That's me. What was that me, and Chris? I need some of this and some of this. <laughs> oh my God, that's a waste. Hey, group text. I don't mind a, a Zoom. Just group me, fine. I can yeah, set notifications. Yeah, I can mute it. I can't mute a dang text.
I can, you can. Well, I've learned now that that's a new thing that you can do. I've, I've figured so, it out. But the last time I was in the middle of a group. But then you miss everything. With Justin Phillips, who I love, but it got. Uh, him and Sammy were having a conversation back and forth. And they started set, doing it again on this one. I'm like, no. I set rules. Well, listen, if you have a conversation, if you and I have a conversation, then let's side text each other. Exactly. I don't mind being in a group text, and then when, if we need to talk about something, we side go off. Text it. Side, like, so call people, a side text. Yeah, that's yeah. they have. I'm like, I my phone is going off and off and 94 off. 94 messages no. from two people no. and they don't include me. Well, that's the way the group meet is for me. I I don't have any notifications Actually, on, other than the number comes up on the right the app or whatever. Right. And yes, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm not in on all of it. 99.9 yeah. percent of it. I don't need it to be on. Yeah. Well, you and I cheered at George Southern together. That was your, you had come from Winder Bear, right? Yes, sir. Go dogs. Uh, go dogs. Uh, and that was your, so how long did you cheer at George Southern? Uh, two years. Two years. Two years, yeah. And then, is that, and then you went to Miami Dade right after that, or you? Uh, no, I, took, I, was, I left George Southern, took my first gym job in Jacksonville, cheer one. They are no longer around, but they've merged into. Other gyms since then. Uh, then after Cheer One, I went to Miami Dade. After that, after so. how many years were you in Jacksonville working? Uh, two. So two years at Georgia Southern, two years in Jacksonville, two years in Miami Dade. Did you end up at Miami Dade because of your time in Jacksonville? Was there some connection there that got you to Miami yeah. Dade? Yep. Yeah. Um, so good buddy of mine, Jeff McQueen, okay. California All Stars. You know, okay, right? Um, was he, he and I were buddies in Jacksonville? He actually coached him in high school. And then okay. he went to George, uh, Miami Dade the year before me. Loved it. Basically, a competition team, just competition cheer. That's right. all it was. Um, you know, it's community college school, so you didn't have to really attend a lot of classes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so the year after he went, I went, cheered together, um, competed, did all that, and then uh, all separated after that. Was uh, was NCA still? Uh, did you do NCA at Daytona at that point? Yeah, yeah. well, in the Men's that- Show. I mean, I when I did Georgia College, we competed in Dallas in the arena. With the semi truck? No, <laughs> no, it was it was That's like cool. some. It looked like old UCA with the fake castles. Is what fake it castles like. and all the ferns. That's what it looked like yeah. to me, if I remember right. And uh, you know, some fly, that, that was yeah. You walked out. Yeah, but we did Daytona. You know, there's no nothing replacing uh, the bench show. Yeah, I never, I never got to. I never to, got to, to do that. compete in the sun. That's uh, you practice that. There was many days of mats out in the parking lot to practice I in bet. the sun. Yeah, I, ne- I never had to do that. I know we competed. Uh, I know we didn't compete outside, but we practiced and warmed up outside at some NCA competition in Myrtle Beach yep. as a coach. Yep. But I and I always wanted to compete at UCA in San Diego when it was at, at SeaWorld right. in San Diego. But that's a multiple. Yeah, well, I'm, we're talking. Yeah. I age myself quickly when I start talking about this stuff. Um, but I only got to. I was. Um, I was. Uh, the my first time at UCA was ninety five, and you weren't on that team. But no. And we, what what happened? Why didn't we compete that ninety? The year that your freshman so year. Years you remember ago, why? No idea. Do you even remember? I I don't know why. I can't even think about that far back. Right. Well, that was my last. You, you cheered with me at Florida, then weren't you at, at the UF game? Yeah. yeah. Was, and they're throwing stuff at us. Yeah, they did, they put us right in front of the dang student, student section. section. Yeah. Like that's for their cheerleaders. Why yeah, didn't they put they us? Got ice there? and quarters and all kinds of fun stuff thrown us. Go Gators. Yeah, they didn't like us. They thought that. Well, like, we were in the like, lead at halftime or something. Maybe no, the first quarter. Here's what it was. We had the most rushing yards than any SEC team did on Florida that season and they won the national championship that season with Danny Werfel. But we as George Southern, we were up 14 to nothing. At like first quarter, halftime? Yeah, first quarter. Yeah. We 14 to nothing had more rushing yards than That's any it. other team that season had on that defense. And they got hateful. Of course, because we were running the option and they weren't ready you know, for it. That's, well, they were ready for it. Kind of. <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, they weren't ready for it in the first quarter, at least. They, they figured it out. And then I think it was like 50-something to 14. But that was that's the yeah, thing we had I remember, that, on there. I remember that game. That was good. Yeah, that was... That was good road trips. Uh, the Liberty and all those fun, like, app states. After... Uh, I went to... The year that 
you, we cheered together, App State would have been in Statesboro if they coordinate, if, I, if I'm remembering right. Because I, the, the year before, App State, we were there. And that was a crazy night in the cold and the rain. And we talked about that the other day on the, on the Zoom. I the was, Zoom I wasn't I, that, invited that on. on. Whoever in. I know, right? We're just going to keep bringing that up. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, talk about how Clint and I, this is stories from the team before your year while you were yeah, still you remember Clinton from my high school right Clinton of course well see Clinton. Clint got in trouble while we were at Marshall and Wendell was saying how he thought he was punishing Clint and Sammy by uh, making them sit out but they actually got to be dry the whole game because it was pouring down rain at Marshall and we were out there soaked and, and, Hateful. And, they, Hateful. And, and cold. Yeah. That what it was like, you know, I really felt bad that actually the punishment was being out there. Right. That we should have let all y'all sit. We got in some like, we got in some trouble up in at that weekend in Marshall. Not any jail or anything, but just Always good times. Yeah. Always good times on road trips. Um you know, six or eight people, ten people, whatever it was in a in a big van, uh driving crazy amount of hours and I remember uh, VMI, Virginia Military, stole our mascot. You remember? No, Willie? see, I, was, I think that was your You're second after. year, and I was You're already I remember Willie. You remember of Willie. Of course, Willie, yes. Willie was the eagle, uh, Gus the eagle, and um, he army crawled over close to their side, and the first-year military guys jumped out of the stands onto the field, came over and carried them, carried him, like, above their head over into the student section. Really? <laughs> but, again, you can't. Those are things that happen on away games that you yeah. can't, you can't yeah. ever forget. Really word. Really word. But one of the best mascots ever, you know, he's taught on the other side. He's got yeah. military gear on. He's got like a Red Rider BB gun, pop gun, whatever. Yeah. And he's army crawling over and they come in and pick him up. Well, I had two, I had a, a, a mascot before him, Kevin, and then Willie that second yep. year. So I had two. And I tell you what, that, uh, that, um, and coming back on from road trips with that mascot oh uniform in the front smells. seat of those vans, and they sprayed it with that orange it smell good. Thing. It didn't help, but it just smelled like horrible orange. And I was driving a van, or I was in the front seat, if yeah. I remember right, and it probably sitting in the front seat because Wendell was probably driving, but I just remember the stench on that thing. Oh, horrible. listen, man. Heat and padded fur, not good. Not a good combination. Yeah, I uh, I would have. I, I I have the heart to be a mascot. Like I could have been a good one, but I would have hated. I would have been burnt. I would. Yeah, I, I think I've been good at basketball. Like indoors AC, <laughs> outdoor sunshine heat. Mm -mm. Right. Pass out. Ninety five degrees outside with humidity and in padded fur. No, thank you. Yeah. Oof. That is a. Uh... But I did get to do some of the eagle. I mean, I'm not sure we should say I'm an eagle. Uh, Willie and I would trade at halftime. Oh, did you? And we'd have to wear the other suit. Nice. And uh, we, we... So you did that every now I did that. Right? You know, the big padded feet and the hands that people like to pull off and all the fun stuff. Oh, his name was Gus, right? Gus. Oh, yeah, I wonder if it's, is it still Gus. It has to be. Yeah, I hope it is. Yeah, I know, right? Well, let's get into it. I mean, let's talk about those camps. I, I know when I did my camps, I didn't get to work for... NCA, UCA, like that. I had sure. much smaller uh, working for American, <clears throat> but I mean, I had fun to, to those. I can only imagine more, yeah, more staff, more. I mean, Gosh, look, I, we won't say what I did. I'm not going to go there, but I know, I know, and if you know, you know. We'll just leave Listen, it there. if you are ever a camp instructor, first off, good job because it's 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 a glorious job, but it's not a glorious job. You pay nothing for a lot of time, a lot of hard work. Right. But the memories, the friends, the stories, the crazy, yeah. goofy stuff that you've been part of, and it's, I wouldn't trade it. I mean, I will say I'm lucky enough to have 12 best friends, for, and they all came from camps. Right. None of them I went to high school with. None of them I went to George Southern with. Right. One of them I went to Miami Dade with, but that came from NCAA summer camps. Right. All of my best friends that are to this day I've been in their weddings and right. whatever all came from teaching camps with them. I I had I had made UCA staff and it was that same I think it was gonna be the same summer of the whole uh 
the Olympic situation, and I would have had to go to summer school, so I didn't get to do anything that I, except for take a class so I could cheer the next year. Just so I could really, it was so I could go to Florida. I wanted to go and cheer at Florida. Yeah. Uh, the, the the crazy things that I thought about at that point that that was important. It wasn't true. It wasn't school. It was. It was I, got, I got my degree, I got got my degree in cheer, not in anything that I majored in. My BS degree in cheerleading. That's, that's, oh, yeah. Well, it, I mean, <laughs> I I felt like it, after I had to make it. I'm not running it because that was the only thing I learned right. in college. Or that I could say I, I enjoy. Some, yeah, you know. You don't talk about classes. You talk about the fun stuff you did in cheerleading. That's why no. we. I mean, in why we're still in it. It's still it's fun. Yeah. It still takes us places. We still get to hang out with those people, meet new people, whatever. But yeah, if it wasn't, I mean, I think we all stay involved with it. Hey, there's a passion for it. Don't get me wrong. The you know the kids keep you young and you you do that. But the friendships you have from it. Yeah. Or what keep you in it. I mean, we lost touch for... Forever. 15 years. Yeah. Boom, here we are. Yeah. Well, that's just the way... It, so many people have stuck with it for so long that you may lose touch for a while, but you'll see... You'll see, you see you see them. Pick back up. Yeah. You, it's like opening a book. Boom, there it is. Right. And, and I, I have so many people that I've known over the years that I, you know, as soon as I see them again, it's just like right back into yeah. it and... and uh, I love, I love to to see people that I don't see or don't talk to on a regular basis, and I see them in just the whole catch up yeah. moment. That's why I should be on the Georgia Southern Zoom call? Well, I think that we will have mm -hmm. another one, and I I, I feel like busy. they're going to be. You'll be busy. I'll, I'll be busy. I'll let yeah. you know. I'm going to be doing yeah. my hair. All I can tell you is, if I had done it, I would have obviously dealt. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, we talked about. You see, did you know Hank? Yep. Did you know Hank? That's right. He was on that team with that second, that first year with you. I don't know if he did it the next year. I forget. They all run together at this point. I, uh, yeah. Well, they kind of don't for me. I'm, I'm kind of. I don't know how you remember that far back. I, I have a, there's certain things that I have a locked jaw memory on and things 10 minutes ago that she, I don't yeah. remember. Listen, I've been blessed enough to travel some crazy places and do some crazy things and they all run together. So. Well, maybe it's because I haven't. I mean, <laughs> I have, but. I, I don't I, I, talking to my dad the other day just the, actually this morning about vivid memories I don't even see that's the thing is I don't remember what those vivid memories were that we were talking about this morning I can't tell you now what they were yeah, but, you were but when we were talking about them earlier they were straight up like he's like man that's exactly how it happened Mine this is the, from the 70s yeah I can remember the situation the people and what we did and how it was couldn't tell you where we were or what year it was yeah because they all, you know, if was it 90 blank or 2000 blank, I don't know. Right. They all run together. Like, where were we? I don't remember. That's I right. remember being at this place with these people, but I couldn't tell you what event it was, you know, like, oh, you remember that time we were at this birthday party? Yeah. Whose was it? No clue. I have one story that I will <laughs> never forget where I was, and I'm not going to get too far into it, but I hope that somebody listens to this that was at that moment. And all I can say was Kentucky Derby, the back of a uh, a horse trailer. Oh Lord! Uh, that stories from that day will never see yeah. the light of day. I hope. I, yeah, I have yet to, to attend that. It's, You've never it's been. One of the big I didn't go in. We didn't go yeah. in. Oh Lord! No. It's one of the events I'm not going to live. Yeah. What? Uh, that's in May. I think I canceled this year. Mm -hmm. Didn't it? Yep. I want to say it's towards the end of the season stuff. You know, between the worlds and the summits and all that, I think it's around that time. So it's like I'm always busy with work stuff, so I can't never get to, you know, get to it. What else? Yeah. May. How many events do you normally have in May? One every weekend. Is it still that bad? I mean, it's in May? what Worlds is the first weekend of May. Yeah, I guess. It, let me think. In the, then the there's here. two summits. So you got there. So you do both, even when you do that. Uh, it depends on the year. There's times I've done them. There's times I haven't. Like this year, I was probably going to do both. Uh, last year, I don't think I did either. Okay. Because I am lucky enough that I have international customers as well. So when I go to Worlds, I'm go to practice with those teams. Right. So I'm with you know six, eight, ten teams, whatever it is, and then the week after, I'm like. I'm out. Peace out. I'm done. 
Uh, but then I have customers that go to Summit and I try to see them and all that, but it's it's a lot lesser capacity, you know, so. Yeah. But I'm, I'm usually at the Worlds and some in both Summits. Usually attend them, subject. Did you see the news in the last couple of days that uh, they, they're now extending the, the age eligibility yep. by a year? Yep. To help the people that this is affected by. Yeah. Of course. Are you excited years. about that? I think, I, think every, that I think I I could see both sides of yeah, it. Of course. I think that every situation, every athlete is gonna be different. But the ones that wanna stay, now have the opportunity to stay. Right. But it gives at the same the time, you know, right. I mean if you have something that you're you know, you're moving away to school, what what is school? It get, is what get it life is. started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but if they really wanted it, they can't they have that yeah, opportunity. It's not it, it wasn't snatchable of where underneath their feet. Yeah. I feel like if you want to and you're you know, maybe you're going to school and you're staying home down or close by and you want to stay at your gym or whatever, great. And let's be honest, it's going to help the teams. Yeah. You know, to have that athlete back is only going to help that team. So, if it fits, go for it. Yeah, I wonder, I don't know, I know I know at least of one kid that's doing it that I know of at, at, uh, at the gym, but yeah, you know, I, I wonder gotten, how many kids are, are going to do I haven't gotten that far with all my clients yet because most of them are still working on the trial process and that kind of stuff, so yeah. Once the teams are placed and once we get this lifted, you know, the teams can be formed, then we'll figure all that out. But, um, yeah, it's, it's well, good. I, I'm glad they made that exception. Yeah. Um, for, I mean, like I said, give those kids a chance they want it. I know that the state of Florida has, has uh, I heard them talking today that they, the governor invited anybody who, uh, any pro team that, their state's not letting them do stuff. Y'all can move your team to Florida. And really? Yeah. He's a, a, an open Stone? invitation, basically. Just to work out or to like? No, it? you can do. We'll find you a place wow. to do to for your let's say hockey team or whatever it is. Let's we'll use the the uh, the LA Rams. I think is a good example right now. And the Chargers, uh, you know, California is still being locked down. And they may consider to continue it. And they're supposed to open this new stadium out there. That. Uh, the DeSantis is like okay, so if you if your state's not letting you come, come on. on here, we'll take we'll let Welcome you do it here. Florida. Come on, everybody. And that's how the, he's doing it. Uh, so, and they talked about the NBA doing the whole thing where we compete for you know the the whole uh, ESPN place running turning the arena into a. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think what were they saying for the NBA trying to do a like a March Madness thing? I think like a tournament like that. Mm -hmm. Which would be kind of cool, you know, one and done. That would yeah. be crazy. Uh, but tournament style NBA. Tournament Might be style. interesting. Tournament style. Yeah. Uh, well, then they talked about, you know, football with no fans. And... Well, that, look, that's what I think is going to, I think that to me continues to be my, my thing that I think is going to, What? how is the cheerleading world going to change next year? Sure. I feel like that it's going to be the less crowd thing. That's what hey, I listen. I, if, if that's if the, that's where it is, and that's if that's the adjustment we need. Let's yeah. go for it. Of course, of course. Uh, you know, but you wonder what that what does that really mean? Does that mean like free live streams and drop your kid off and? Maybe, uh, you know, I mean, look, look, look what they did at the UCA. No. It was right. the team performing, and their fans came in, watched the team, and left, and then it was clear. Another team. Clear. Yeah. Another team. Well, I mean, easy to do when you don't have a lot of teams. If you have a lot of teams in the thing, you can't, yeah, you can't do I mean, it like that. It's, it's, it's possible. Let, let me, let, well, let you, you spread it over a couple more days. That's uh, how you go happen. back to the old two-sided floor. Well, There's that, a fan on this one and a fan on that one. Fan I, on still, one. I still enjoy those days. I no, those it's days a nightmare for sport. logistics and parents and their production. Is, but, well, it sucks when you have to go back and forth. Well, I mean, think about lights. you got to have the same lights on this side you have on this side. Do you do you run those cheer sport lights? I do not run the cheer sport lights. All right, then you're cool because I would feel bad right now. They they they, they don't hit the right. The floor is brighter here, darker here. Not the company uh, I work for, my friend. I I don't have any other issue for what I do in lighting, other, other than that cheer sport. And that's not a knock on cheer sport as a company. It's whoever is doing the. And uh, it's not even that bad. It's a bad in the seat like a. C arenas. The main, I think B, B is pretty good. C but is horrible. It's, it's like it gets it's, worse. It's unfortunately uh, different people that set those lights. When you white balance and you, oh, you know, horrible. spot check and do all the different things we do. Um, lighting people don't know truly. 
which right. is where I try to bridge that gap because I work with a production company. They're production people. I'm the Julian knowledge. So I'm the guy that's going in the front of the floor, tossing your hat or a piece of paper or whatever it is, 15 feet in the air and going, nope, you're going to lose that kid if it's in the basketball. Huh. I never. So, I mean, if you know, you can look at a light and if it's consistent across your hand here, that's great. 15 feet in the air, is it great? Right. 10 feet in the air, 12 feet in the air, whatever it is. Yeah. Like, those back corners are where you lose yeah. kids. You know, front edge, you lose kids because they dance there. You know, like, so... And the tunneling passes, especially when yeah. I see it. They run out of darkness into yeah. darkness. You yeah. can't have that. You know, so um, sometimes the lighting designer people don't know those things. And if someone doesn't tell them those things, they're not going to fix it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the opportunity to work with those people. I have now announced a couple times, but... Y'all need some help? Let me know. Right now. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really available right now. Well, that's like, what all this is. It's just a plug for you to, you know, to get work. No, no, I'm just no, no. trying to, try to find you at some more jobs. Hey, listen, June because, open, bro. Because I am, you know, <laughs> this really goes worldwide. And I think I have 21, man, no, just 21 subscribers, not 21 million. I wish it was 21. <laughs> 21 million. people. Yeah, 21. <laughs> Let's get that like and subscribe, please. I can't yeah, remember right, that I'm right, saying that right, stuff. Right, right, right below us. Annoys me when I see that on everybody else's stuff, but I'm like, oh my God, I have to do that right now. Yeah. Because, yeah, I got to. Got to. Yeah. Got to show me. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> that was your commercial plug. I know. It's the, I got to do it. Listen, you're going to have I 20, am going to be. I you're am 22 gonna, now. Well, I'm sad. That, Listen, Bash, yeah. Bash is going to get you 10. He sat back here for the first half of this. I hope that I can see. He, he's got 14. He's out of frame, though. He, he needs to be more in frame. He's in frame. Bash, come up. Let's bring get him up here. here. Look, up there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. At the World of Bash, you can find him. He's a famous black pug. He does nothing good. High five. Boom. Give me a good high five, though. Yeah. I hope that's in frame. <laughs> I hope it, so. It, he's in there. I hope so. I can see him. Well... I think it's about time that we wrap this up and have some dinner. What do you think? Sounds good. I appreciate you having me. I think thanks, we should. Uh, thanks for the time. Well, it's always good. It's, it's good. We're going to do it again at the end of the summer, and we're going to see what's going on. Uh, I want to uh, know about your Chattanooga trip as soon as possible. Uh, and I thought I, you were going. No, I'm going. I'm going to just keep going. I'm going up see, to. You should stop in Chattanooga and then take forty out. It's right there. No, because I take twenty two. Oh come on! I got through Birmingham. That's how I get out of here. When I go west, I go through I Memphis. And, yeah. Uh, well, Chattanooga, Memphis. Yeah, when I go through Birmingham. It's twenty-two is the way oh, to go. It's, uh, All boring highways. I mean, listen. Production assistance, man. I know. Well, we might have to hire. Gas fees are pretty pretty low. You <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Hi, thanks, man. Thanks again.